Hello guys, this is DK on Cover. So in today's video, what I want to share with you is why we all need to stop being negative. Before I continue, don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe guys, I need your support, in it? Subscribe. But anyway, have you guys ever wondered why 95% of people are not successful? And only 5%. Even some people even think it's only 1%, but I, I, I don't believe it. It's only 5%, isn't it? But do you know why the 95% of people are not successful? Because... Most people, most of them are always expecting negative things, bruv. It's not only hard work that will take you from A to Z, bruv. It's not only hard work. It's the mindset behind it. You know what I mean? Most, most of us don't have that mindset that even, even if we fail, we can get to somewhere, bruv. We can attract only good things. Most of us, once we attract negative things, we give up. Or we expect more negative shit. So then, that's what we attract into our lives. Most of us, once we get frustrated by one chick, we feel like all these chicks are the same, bruv. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to deal with a chick anymore. And then we fall into that 95% of people. But see, those 5%, they fail at something and they shrug it off and move on, bruv. That's the, mind, that, the type of mindset that we all need to have. Expecting only good things, bruv. First of all, like I've always said, and everyone that believes in the law of attraction will tell you, you create your own circumstances. So the fact that you are attracting more negative shit, right? And all you do is just constantly be negative. Then you can't turn your life around, bro. You know what I mean? You can't turn your life around. Always look for the seed of equivalent of any, anything that you face in life. Because there is. The only thing is that majority of these 95% of people, they are not thinking, bro. They are not thinking. Even if you're a lazy person, if you're just, what do you call it, procrastinate, everything that you do, it still comes from the mindset, isn't it? Because if you are always succeeding, if you're always winning, 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 you will not really procrastinate like that. But because you, you've made one or two temporary defeats, so then you feel like, ah, did I really need to do it? You just fall into that habit, bruv, you know what I mean? Everything starts from there, you know what I mean? But majority of us, all we do is expect negative things, bruv, and expect why you live, your life is shit, bruv. You know what I mean? If you want to turn your life around, always expect only good things in your life, man. Like I said, it's not only hard work that will take you from where you are right now to the successful person that you want to be. It's not only that. I'm telling you, it's other things comes into it. Another thing too that I want to say, the majority of us want to attract good, good things, wealth, success, happiness, good health. But the thing is that we are never thankful, bruv. Most of you guys know that whenever you receive something, whether it's small or big, you know, you're never grateful, bruv. And that's why you don't attract more of that shit. Even if you got this out of life here, bruv, be grateful for that shit. So you can attract more. And once you're being grateful, don't expect to be grateful so you attract more. Just be grateful out of your heart, bruv. That's one of the things that I've realized that lots of successful people have in common. Being grateful, being thankful, bruv. And another thing to the day I've really have been common is giving. The law of giving, bruv. Majority of us, we feel like we have less. See, that's negative mindset as well. We feel like we have less. So what is the point of giving to someone in the street? He's probably going to eat it for cigarettes or something dumb. So I'm, I'm going to keep whatever I have in it. But I see... Everything in this universe is meant to be, it's meant to express itself, innit? It's meant to be used so you can return more. Even your money that you have, right? But are you holding it? It's like you're saying, it's the same thing as your talent. If you keep your talent inside, right? What, what will happen? Or your mind power, it will just move on. It will leave you and move on to something, someone else or whatever. That it will, it will be able to express itself. That's how nature works, Bob. Have you realized that most empire like Rome and all these Greek empire, majority of them, the reason why many of them, most of them failed, or most of them fell, right, was because they stopped, right, going out there, putting out most of the shit that they do out there, bro. They started keeping everything in inside, and that's why they fucking fell, bro. I'm not, I don't know if I'm explaining it properly, but you guys get what I'm trying to say, bro. You know what I mean? Why do you think that your economy and your na your country that you live in, they try to go to other places, bro, to to deal, to make deals and that? That's how it's meant to be like. You give and you receive. You know what I mean? But majority of us, we feel like, oh, I have small things. I, have, I don't have enough. I don't get paid enough. So why should I put my money out there? Then you never receive anything out of life, bro. And you always expect to be living in a shitty life, bro. You know what I mean? 
expect good things in your life, bro. Even if a girl has cheated on you or a girl fucked you over, I'm telling you, in order for you to know the game, a girl has to fuck you over one or two times before you be like, all right, next time I'm if you're a thinking person anyway, a person with logic, you will know that all right, cool. So this is what she did now. I'm going to think about it so I can avoid it next time, bro. Instead of always saying that I'm going monk or I'm going to, you know what I mean? Now I'm not, I'm not saying that don't go monk, but I'm just saying some of these guys will be like, oh, I'm just going to ignore women completely and just live a bitter, frustrated life. For, for, no, come on, bro. Go out there and learn the game and so you can live a happy life, bro. Most guys that claim, or most guys that I know that says, oh, yeah, they, are, they ignore girls and all that, yeah. Deep down, they're not happy, bro. Even at times, you can tell they're not happy, in it. So my point is that, bro, go out there and expect great positive things and good things and just enjoy yourself out of life, bro. And that's the only way that you can attract more happiness into your life, bro. Stop being so negative, innit? That's all I want to say, bro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification notification button. I post mostly every day now. So, yeah, I need your support, guys. Subscribe, innit? I need your support. Anyway, take care and have a wonderful day.